Myocarditis is a silent heart disease. It is one of the leading causes of death in professional athletes. At the age of 27, Reggie Lewis collapsed during the first game of the 1993 NBA game. He died soon after being diagnosed with myocarditis. The wall of the heart is composed of three layers. The inner layer is the endocardium which is in direct contact with the blood flow. The middle thick layer is the myocardium, and the external layer is the pericardium. In today's video, we will talk about the myocardial inflammation which is called myocarditis. Myocarditis is an inflammatory process of the myocardium, often a result of an infection, but non-infectious myocarditis can also occur. It is commonly diagnosed between 20 to 50 years old. Males are at more risk of developing this kind of inflammation. It is not easy to recognize the current number of myocarditis cases, because it often goes undiagnosed due to an asymptomatic illness. Even after seeking medical attention, there is no specific simple method to confirm the presence of myocarditis. Younger males are at a higher risk of developing this type of inflammation than others. In the 2019 Global Burden of Disease report found that males are at higher risk to die from myocarditis than women. Uh. Typical acute cases are resolved within days to a few weeks. If signs and symptoms last more than three months, that signal a chronic illness process. Inflammation can be contained within a part of the heart muscle. This is classified as focal myocarditis. A diffuse disease will hit the entire heart muscle. These cases are more severe than focal. They may lead to permanent damage and a higher risk of death. Some of the complications of this inflammation, include chronic heart problems, such as dilated cardiomyopathy, and heart failure. Myocarditis can result from various causes, most commonly infectious pathogens. Some cases are caused by toxic reactions to vaccines, drugs, or radiation. Autoimmune disease is another potential cause of heart muscle inflammation. The underlying cause of myocarditis often remains unknown. Bacterial infection is not common in myocarditis, but viral infections are the most common cause. COVID-19 illness is just a new infectious disease added to the list of causes. The signs and symptoms of myocarditis depend on the degree of myocardial damage. Myocarditis can be asymptomatic means no signs or symptoms. Inflamed heart tissues leads to weakened contractions which translates to clinical manifestation of heart failure. In other cases, it can show flu-like signs like fever, cough, myalgia, and shortness of breath. More severe symptoms may appear not limited to chest pain and palpitation. The clinical presentation, as a current consumption of a vaccine, drug, or viral illness, can help the medical practitioner consider myocarditis as a potential cause of the existent illness. The next step is to confirm the presence of heart inflammation, and then identify the cause to administer the proper therapeutic plan. Standard tests that are used in the diagnosis are an ECG looking for arrhythmias or other abnormalities, blood tests looking for inflammatory markers, elevated serum level of troponin indicates cardiac tissue injury, BNP brain natriuretic peptide is another blood test that can indicate ongoing heart failure if elevated. Echocardiography helps determine if the inflammation is focal or diffused. Endomyocardial biopsy is considered the gold standard test to diagnose myocarditis. This invasive procedure consists of entering through the veins of the neck or a limb to get inside the heart to obtain a small piece of the heart muscle tissues. The presence of an inflammatory process confirms the diagnosis of myocarditis. Treatment depends on the cause of myocarditis. Other factors are also taken into consideration, such as age and other patient medical conditions. A non-pharmacological treatment consists of rest, and activity restrictions during the acute phase of the inflammation to prevent further damage to the heart muscle. Athletes may be required to avoid training from six months up to a year. Severe myocarditis will require hospital admission and administration of medications to assist in controlling the disease process. In the most severe cases, a heart transplant may be required. See our other video about cardiac transplantation to learn more about the procedure. You can access it by clicking on the link at the top of the screen. Thank you for joining us in another video covering health-related topics with medical arts officials.
Subscribe to support our channel. Like and share with your friends. Leave your comment below about your thoughts, questions, or suggestions.